Okay, you? we need you to Six. put on um, gloves if you have. If you're going to have your picture taken with the postcard, you have to have white do. gloves. Just taking the picture. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you a little bit about this. Okay. Um, we're featuring Amanda Black. She was the daughter of the Black family when they owned the building between 1894 and 1934. And um, it was called the Black Hotel at that time. The family was Lewis and Eliza Black, and two sons, and then Amanda. And Amanda was the one who was the one who she could read and write, and she kept the books, she took care of everything. And she was very personable. When people came to visit, um, they just loved talking to her and visiting with her. So she would say, well, I don't get to travel much, so when you get home, send me a postcard. So we have a whole collection of postcards. There's some of them all around in that next room, and then a whole bunch of them here that people would send her from all over the country. So what we have here for your special thing is a 1908 postcard. It was mailed in 1908. Say hello, Miss Vanda. It's fun visiting with you. So um, we just thought this was special. By the way, um, we t used to tell people that she had a cleft palate, but then we had a great granddaughter visit here a couple years ago, and they said, oh, no, she had salivating disease. The doctor had given her a medicine and said, now don't eat anything sour while this is in your system. She evidently did before it got out of her system, and it just ate away at her lips and her, up into her nose. And mm -hmm. so, but she still was just like, very friendly. Everybody loved her. So this is the postcard. So you need to have your picture. You have white gloves on. So how old? I mean, was she when she passed? Jan, pardon? How old was uh, Amanda when she passed? In her 50s, about 55. Yeah, they're, she, they're buried if you're local. The whole family, but well, Four of the boys and Amanda and her mom and dad are in the cemetery. Um, just as you start down Polo Road before you get to the Veterans Cemetery, right. there's a few cross over the highway. Right. There's a little cemetery yes. there. Smack yep. dab in the middle of the cemetery are Eliza and and uh, her father. Uh, I've lost his name. Lewis. Lewis. Lewis and Eliza, mom and dad, and then Amanda, and then Richard and James and uh, the third son. Lewis Jr. Wow. And I'm We're all buried the right there, so if you want to check our story, you can go find well, that right. tell the first thing about the necklace. Notice the necklace she's wearing? The great granddaughter also it's, brought it's that a necklace watch. It's, not it's a, a watch. Yeah, it's sorry. a watch. Well, it's a necklace. Yeah, watch, watch on the necklace. Does. And that's the one that she wore all the time. Uh -huh. And the great granddaughter offered it to Jan and then pulled it back <laughs> and then offered it and she <laughs> didn't want to give it up, but she felt like the history here, that it was important to be a part of that. So. Okay. We have that. So, okay. 1908. That's Dixon. If you know Dixon, that's a picture of Dixon in 1908. There you go. Okay. Could I get you guys? No. Hold on to it if you want. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can get one on the side, too. Great. Thank you. You got it? Yeah, I don't want to. I can't let it go. <laughs>